Good afternoon folks. Once again the sun is shining so we are out in the garden once again. We're going to be working on a shoulder routine today. Now we've had a few people mention that they've not had any real resistance work to do. They haven't had any dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever to work with. So all I've done is simply just filled up a bag for life. Some of my own personal literature inside. It says advanced on there, just so we're clear. So, basically, you just take one of these things, they're quite heavy duty, just load them up as heavy as you're happy to go with them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the work on one side, working for all the major heads of the shoulder, and then I'm gonna do all the work on the other side again, repeating. Normally, I do four or five sets of this, but just to make it so you're not completely bored watching me do the same thing five times round, I'm just gonna do it once, and you can obviously choose how many times you're happy to go around. So firstly, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on the back of the shoulders and on the traps at the top here, which is going to be called a bent over high pull. So, because I'm very fancy, I've opted for the bag with two different length of handles, I know. So I'm going to be using the long handle to start off with. So just grabbing round like so, pushing the hips back, and what I'm going to be doing is leading it with the hands and then squeezing the shoulder back at the top. I'm just going to be doing 10 reps on this. So you want to be bringing it up, really get the squeeze at the top, and then bring back down under control. Just going to do another two, and one. Now I'm just going to bring it in, so I'm using the shorter handles now, keeping it close to the front, and I'm just going to be working through the front deltoid. So again, going to be keeping the arm fairly straight, but keeping the elbows loose. Leading it from the front and up. It's not a rapidly recurring advert for Lidl, I promise you. Other supermarkets are available. We're going to do another three, two, and one. And now coming out to the side, working it from the one side as well forces your core muscles to work hard as well. What you're trying to do is trying to keep yourself central. You're not trying to throw your hips off to one side to get the weight up in the air. It's all about not just going from A to B on these. You want to be keeping the core muscles nice and tight. So you've got three more. Side lat raises are always hard. They're starting to burn like a good one now. And that's the last one on that one. Once again, I'm going to bring it for the longer side. Keep the elbow to the front. And then just pressing straight up. Now I've already warmed up through the back, the front, and the side of the shoulders. So they are already fairly nice and warm. So this wouldn't have been too bad at the start, but it's getting a real good burn going now. I want to get them really working hard, so I'm going to be going for 20 reps on this one. There goes, going to do another four, three, two, one, and you can keep yourself working hard by going around this one by going immediately back onto the other side now. So the left side is burning like a good one. So again, lean it up through the hands. I'll show you from the side. Lead up from the hands. You want to be squeezing through the top here, through the back of the shoulder. Just going to do another three on that. Two. And one, dropping that down once again. Again, working on the shorter handles. Then going to go out to the front again. Again, keeping the arm fairly straight. Leading it up through the elbow. Feel it pumping through the front of the shoulder. Not easy, this one. Once again, you're trying to keep your hips still. You're not trying to throw your back into this one. Just going to do one more of those. And then into the side. These are never easy, especially once those shoulders are nice and warm. They'll also be incorporating the top of the shoulder, working those traps as well. It's got another four on there. Again, trying to keep the core nice and tight. If you put your fingers there, you'll feel it working just by working that one side. That's the last one on there. And now I'm just going to press straight up again. It's 
sorry if the voice is going. I've come round to Laura, she hasn't even offered me a drink. Bloody disgraceful, really. Bloody coronavirus. <coughs> We're going to do another 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. So that's, that concludes that one. So you can either just do all the exercise on one side like I've just done, or go straight from working one to the other side. Just keep it going, keep it moving, just keep those shoulders working all the way through. By the time you've done four or five sets of that, they'll be burning like a good one. You're welcome. Have a good day.